Welcome back, Ajivas, to the week before everything changes. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting digitally through Echo Space is Alex. Hello. How are you, Alex? I am good. Are you achieving? I, you know, I'm trying. Mm. Like, you know, there's certain games where, like, you know, you feel like you've done so much. And right. And you look at the achievement list and you're like, fuck, I still only have three? Alex, I'm so glad you brought up achievement list today. Today, I played Untitled Goose Game. Ooh. Uh, it, it co-op recently released with it with, like, a big patch they did to submit, I believe, their Switch launch, if I remember correctly. Okay. Me and the wife played it, and my god, we had a great time. And great achievements i got almost all of them the only ones i didn't do were the time trial ones that didn't seem mm-hmm. fun so oh, i just are, skipped that are they easy um easy it was easy with two people by myself i think i would have had issues but the game was built for one goose when you have two it's a little bit easier but there's still some things that i was like how do you do this with one goose for <laughs> like yeah. i really was like I, I you would have to really like think this through yeah. Um, but I had a great time. Hilarious game. Um, of course, it's fun because you're playing with someone, I think. I don't know if I'd have as much fun by myself. But a good yeah, time. I, I all tried the game. It was, it was fun for a little bit, but mm-hmm. I, just, I, I couldn't get into Try it. Try it with the wife, I, I'd say. Maybe maybe put the baby down for a little while. Or with the baby. She might like it. And then I play someone's how to goose game. She might like She's it. Still a little upset with me that I don't finish Overcooked with her. Uh, that well, you're a lesser husband for that, Alex. I I'm sorry for to you tell know, you that. I I have I have so much patience. Mm. That, that, with that when I think I, Alex, I think patience. <laughs> I have I have some patience. But okay. I, I'm like, okay, I'm I'm doing good. I'm doing good, and I don't know where I get booped off the side. Mm. I have like like for like three times in a row. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like no and that should inspire you to keep going the american spirit all right (laughs) no but don't worry we're not a husband wife game podcast no no we're a video game podcast we come to you every single friday that's right every single friday to youtube and or podcast service of your choice remember if you like us like subscribe comment share or Hit us up on Twitter at EVM1000 at Craven Subscriber. Also to note, we're going to pip a couple things out while I'm here. Patreon.com slash CG Achievers is the way that you can not only support the show, not only keep the mics on, and not only can you keep this going even longer, you can also DM us. You can DM us anything, question, comment, concern, thought, and or idea. You leave it there. We address it on the show. Maybe we'll roast you. I don't know. Depends on what you put. Do you dislike Kingdom Hearts? We're going to roast the fuck out of you. If you do, we'll probably still roast you, though. We love you. Remember, keep achieving. While I have you, I want to go over some news. Alex, Mm. we got a lot of PS5 news today. We got a lot of Mass Effect scuttlebutt. We got some Xbox reviews. Maybe a little bit more. But before... We get into that, Alex. I have one question. What is your question? One question I haven't asked in quite a while because we haven't had anything to play, but now we have things to play. So I have a question that says, what have you been playing? Mm, Watch Dogs. Watch Watch Dogs. Dogs. Legion. Okay. Yep. Tell me a little bit about your experience. We gave the audience a little bit last time. Mm -hmm. But what, what is so far? Um... It's not. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I do wish that I had one centric like character. That, okay. That that character is like like in Mark Talk Two, you had Marcus. Mm-hmm. I like that you can recruit people. I don't like that like the story is just like I, I'm I'm literally every cutscene that I've had I've skipped. Right, so I want to echo this. We did talk about this a little bit last week, but I want to bring it up again. This game, in my opinion, is way lesser because it has no central protagonist. I believe it could have been fixed if I was given whatever procedural generated custom character software they're using to make new people every time the game loads. If they gave me that and made me a Mr. Deadsec, a Mr. Elijah, whatever you want to call the main character. Yeah. 
and made me create that character, give him a voice, give him a hairstyle, give him and or her uh, a unique trait or skill that only my guy has, then I feel like I would have been a little more pulled to this. But since it isn't, I do think the game is lesser. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. The game is fun. I do like being in in London. Um, I do too. I, I, I want to give it praise for that. I am, I get sick of America. We've been in America for a long time. I think yeah. in the past, I'd say decade and a half of video games. It's America. This, and if it's not America, it's like Russia. Or if it's not that, it's fantasy. So I'm glad we are in London, so I can actually see th- different things. I will say I love how hard they went into the lingo because there would be sentences oh, I just sure. don't understand. <laughs> oh, for sure, for They'll sure. be like, it's a coffin, and coffin, and and I'm like, I don't. All right. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> but um, I'm having an okay time. I'm. It's essentially a time killer waiting for other things. November 10th hits. This game goes into the dusty shelf category. Yeah, I am waiting for that Assassin's Creed, man. Assassin's Creed Destiny... Beyond Light, um, yeah, that's really it for 10th. And then 12th slaps us in the face with Demon Souls and Spider-Man. Yep. Alex, enough of that. I want to get into the news. The news that we're talking about today is a lot of PS5 stuff. We're going to start with the biggest news I think I've seen in a, quite a while. PlayStation 5 launch day issues, I would say. Apparently, they're not being sold in stores. They will be online owning, uh, sorry, only from November 12th to the 19th, depending on the region. No units available for in-store purchase. So, let's go over which retailers there are. So, this is straight up from the PlayStation blog. They're just giving everyone a heads out. Do they even detail the regions? Yeah, no, it, it depends yeah. on your region, apparently, but... Yeah, it just depends on the region, but they didn't say anything. Yeah, I don't... I think this is basically them telling you, hey, we, we're not going to have extras, fam, uh, for at least the first week. Maybe the second week, but they don't detail too much in this PlayStation blog. I wouldn't even give them... Um, and this is Sid Schumann, so this is a man who knows his stuff. So I think you can read between the lines. Most likely, you're not getting extras, but you do have potentials of getting online. I would say if retails have extras most likely they're going to go to the online store. So I would be F5-ing every uh, major retailer on your computer, making sure you're refreshing, get there early if you're trying to get one, uh, and make sure that you are have your payment details uploaded beforehand. And make sure you get a PS5 because it's going to be hype. Alex, that's enough of units. I want to get into... Uh, the PS5's storage issues, I would say. So, Sony confirms at launch that they will not support SSD storage expansion. They give no details on when or uh, or what time frame they will give it. But they said, uh, this is straight from um, Mark Sony, which technically he did say this before. He said this back in March when he did the giant, uh, what was that, Game Dev Conference? that yeah, yeah, yeah. they would only support specific SSDs and it would take them a while to figure out which l- ones will actually work. So most likely they're testing which ones will actually work and then they'll give a list that, hey, these work. Now, so we did know this weird? beforehand. Like, do you think that's where the only certain ones would work? Because you would think all SSDs are kind of like, you know, capable. You know, as a simple tech, I would say I'm an above average in tech knowledge. Yeah. I would say I would assume all would, but I, maybe there's this thing in them that doesn't make it. I have no idea. I tried to do research on this beforehand to figure out what's the difference between maybe certain models. As far as I understand, it could be the actual infrastructure of how the SSD works. But I was very unclear and I didn't really get a clear answer on if and or why it would not work. So maybe it's a little list. Maybe it's a super long list, and it's like, hey, all of them work except these two specific ones. But I'm I am very unsure. Before we get into that issue, I want to bring up a second issue. So the actual internal storages we've known for months that the PS5 has an 825 gig SSD drive in it. But you are probably going to get 667 gigs of usable storage. 
This is, of course, according to elites in several reports. So, of course, this could be wrong. But I would say if this isn't the number, it's pretty close. Because the UI is probably getting at least minimum 100 gigs. It's ridiculous. But we are getting 667 of usable space. That is very upsetting, <laughs> to say the least, Alex. That is not much, especially on launch units, and especially when you don't have an option of upgrading. Maybe this sits a little better when you have an option of, oh, well, hey, buy this thing, and you can do it. And I guess you technically can with USB external hard drives. Um, you just will have to move them prior to playing them. Uh, but what was that? Please, go ahead. No, it's, it's just annoying because I, you would think that they learned from the mistakes from the... The, the 2013 consoles with starting with 500 gigs yeah this is just about the same thing yeah i would say that's just about the same thing i would say it was a little more excusable last time because games weren't were getting big at that point yeah, not necessarily big now. but now i would agree with you that there isn't much of an excuse they sh if this would have been better if we already knew this information we are counting this six days before launch six days and we're learning that this thing has less than 700 gigs of storage. I feel like that's not very good. I can literally download six games. Yes, depending on the games. We have a kind of a assortment here. I wanted to, I wanted to frame what 660 gigs on PS5 looks like. Ugh. So, Sackboy Big Adventure is a, a popular launch game coming out. That's going to be 32 gigs. Spider-Man Miles Morales by itself is 50 gigs. If... You get the Ultimate Launch Edition, which of course includes the remastered Spider-Man version, is 105 gigs. Demon Souls is 66 gigs. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold World is 133 gigs. <laughs> so if you round all those up and you buy every game at launch, 32 plus 105, that's at 137. So this that's about almost 400 gigs right there. So that's more than half with one, two, three, four games. Four games. So, so that was all right. Six games. There you go. Yeah. So that is very, yeah, you were actually right. The average is out <laughs> to like 100 gigs a game almost. That is very sad, very sad, especially given the sense that if you want to utilize the SSD properly, then you do have to function with an external hard drive um with a usb but you have to move them you cannot play a ps5 game off of a usb drive so you do have to move them back and forth so most people i feel like are going to find the issue of you either have to delete the game you either have to buy an external hard drive or you have to do the thing of you're constantly moving games to games from from each storage device trying to like keep everything a, fl a flood no with the thing earlier we were talking about the the external ssds yes do you think that they'll do um, once they find the right ones that fit with the PS5, right, and all that stuff? Do you think that they'll be they'll say only with external SSDs, not just regular ones, but SSDs? You can put your PS5 games on that. Yes, I 100% believe they'll they'll let external SSDs run. Of course, they'll let them run it oh. off that. I, I think I think so. I, I I don't think they would let you buy that. They they wouldn't tell you it works unless it does that. I mean, <laughs> if it, I think any external SSD will 100% so, work. So far with this console generation, they've told us one thing, and it, and then later on, it's like, no, okay, no, it's not. That's not gonna work. It um, has been a, a no, game. It's not gonna work. It has been a game of kind of half truths. Look at I the, would say. Look, look at the all the PS4 games are gonna work for PS5. Now look at the list. <laughs> yes, that is unfortunate too the original list and now we're seeing a different list and now we're seeing retractions from that we'll get into that in a second but yeah it is unfortunate and it does seem like on the ninth hour we're getting all of these little things where i feel like all of this it would have been like an easy pill swallow two months ago but now i'm hearing about it it makes me less and less excited it's like okay all right this thing okay well that's annoying and it, like it, it's dwindling the excitement hopefully it's. I think I'm. I think I am making a bigger deal of what these actually are. I feel like I'll be playing this game and not really care. But the storage is the big one for me. The storage will be annoying. That will be annoying. For sure. The storage has always been my thing. Cause like even though I don't play a hundred games, I have a hundred games installed. I sure on my do. I sure. I have. I have two hundred games on my system. I'm a monster. I don't. I play maybe two of them. 
<laughs> but yeah, but like, it's difficult because you never know. You're you're bored one day and you just want to go back to something. You don't want to have to download it. Hey, I, I, Untitled Goose Game. That's what I did. Yeah. It was just sitting on the system. I didn't download that. That had been downloaded for a while. Yeah, and I, I just played it the other day, and I went to go play Bioshock. Just yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, that that's a sentence I want to hear every day of my life. Right. Speaking of PS5, anyways, sticking with PS5. It apparently will not support a native 1440 resolution. Now, I had to grab this from IGN because I don't know too much about this stuff. So I'm going to give you word of mouth from them. This is Jordan Orderman over there. PS5 apparently won't support a native 1440 resolution. This is according to IGN Italy, which says it received official confirmation from Sony Europe on Wednesday. This is bad news, of course, for any PlayStation fan with a 1440 gaming monitor. As it means that PS5 will not play ball with the attended resolution for the set, likely upscaling to 1080p to compensate. They've contacted for Sony for comment, but they have not yet heard anything. The PlayStation 5 can output a maximum of 8K resolution and 4K at 120 frames per second via HDMI 2.1 compliant TVs. It'll be fine at 1080p too, but the in-between resolution used by many PC gamers seemingly won't be supported at launch. I do want to put an asterisk next to that 4K at 120 frames. This isn't because I prefer Xbox or anything. I don't think either of these systems are playing most games at 4K 120. I think we're getting 4K 60. I'll be very oh. shocked if we're getting 4K 120. No, 120, I mean, they've said, with, uh, or I guess they're working on it. What was not it? Isn't it um, Halo was going to be 120 or uh yeah, uh, yes. I, was, they said there was gonna be I don't remember. Can you look that up for me, Alex? I I don't, I don't remember. I'm not saying it's. I think it's gonna be rare. I think games will. I believe um Ori the Ori remaster. I I say remaster. They're upgrading the, the new one. But the Ori is 4K 160. I'm not saying it. Or sorry, uh, 120. I'm not saying it's impossible. I I just think it's gonna be very rare, especially with huge games. For instance like gears or something like that like i i can't see that game being 4k 120 i can see 4k 60 of course i think that's going to be list of series x and s games with 120 fps support call of duty cold war oh uh, so sidebar sidebar Mm -hmm. included with 4k a lot of games are going to do 120 1080 yeah i've I've seen a lot of one are 1080 i'm saying at the same time 4k and 120 as, as far as I understand, and I'm naive to the PC world, there's a lot of like $3,000 hardware things that can't do 120 4K. Please write in if I'm wrong about that. But I, I did hear that and read, I've read that before. Mm-hmm. Apparently, that's very hard to do, and it will melt things. So reach out to me if I'm wrong about that. Twitter at Amy1000, or just write in patreon.com. I'm surprised with Call of Duty. I'm not going to lie. Um, which Call of Duty? Cold, Cold War? War. Yep. nice this well okay with 120. well they run i mean they always run that on, on computer so i'm not too surprised That's true. Yeah, gears 5 uh master chief collection dude are you excited to play master chief collection at 120 frames oh for sure that dude are you crazy. kidding me yeah. are you kidding me i'm so excited yeah ori you say will of the wisps yeah i knew that Rainbow one Six Siege. oh i didn't know that uh orphan of the machine That's... king oddball and the tourist alex Colin, please stop you, uh, the last three you just made up those aren't real games don't make up games that uh, you're you're deceiving the audience mm. <laughs> alex what do you think mm. everything we went through we kind of sped through a lot of that what a, all that information and capitalized together what do you think are you less hype more hype do you care is most of that information nothing to you or I want to see. Are you I influenced? See the difference because, uh, like, I have this uh, this argument with my wife that she says that I can't tell a difference between sixty and one twenty, and Ooh. I want to see if I could. I have a lot of people on Twitter that say they will bet lot, like they can tell. Yeah, like I would. I I've seen sixty. Now I've and, I've heard and thirty and sixty is way easier to tell between sixty and one twenty. That's what I've heard. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, I just. I want to see if I could see a difference because I've even seen there was a a couple months ago there was a uh, like a computer expo type of thing, um, and there was a the, one of the newest FPS monitors and it was doing like three hundred or plus FPS. 
Jesus. And I was like, Jesus. And they had the thing where it slows down, and you can see it, like, it, like even if it's slow motion, it was running like 120, like how, like super smooth. Yeah. It was like just nuts. Yeah, that sounds cool. It sounds like a bunch of nonsense to me, but it sounds cool. Um, I it reminds me of when I see uh, the competitive people play at like 200 frames. I'm like, that doesn't even like, I don't even comprehend that. And I must sound like such a console. Was it console plebe? I think that's what it's called. But like, I, I when you tell me, oh, like 200 frames, my mind is like, is that a, okay? Cool. <laughs> that sounds like a lot. Like I don't even know what's happening at that point. You could tell me that I can run Apex or Fort, or excuse me, Apex with sixty or one twenty on the system. I'll be fine. Have they said that at all? I don't. Do you know? I don't know. I don't know, but I, th- I, I feel like they're gonna do sixty. I just don't know. If they have to, right? Next gen Apex <laughs> Legends. Because that'd be awesome. Yo, like, that needs to happen. We're around thirty to sixty. We're not at sixty though. That needs to happen. There has been a lot of EA news. You know what? I'm adding an EA section near uh, near the end there. I'm going to do that later, though. Let's move on. Let's move on. Enough PS5 talk. I'm done. I'm done with it. All right? You guys had your chance. Now it's time to talk about us. All right? Xbox. Let's talk about Xbox. Xbox Series X and S did get some reviews today, interesting enough. A couple days before. Four days before launch. Alex, four days from recording. Three days from when you're listening. My God, Alex, we're so close. I'm tasting it. I taste it. Oh, for sure. I'm tasting it. I'm going to read a few snippets from my favorite news outlets. Tom Warren with The Verge. Microsoft has squeezed all of the components of the Series X into a boxy, rectangular tower-like case. It looks like a compact PC, but with an unassuming design that looks far better standing vertically than it does laying horizontally, just like most PCs. The base of the Xbox Series X isn't removable, And unlike the PS5, the console is not designed to be opened up. When placed horizontally, it's fair to say that the Xbox Series X looks like it fell over with the base permanently attached. I'm I'm not in love with the design, but I'm also not bothered by it. It's a black box you stick under your TV and forget about. As long as you're able to fit it under your TV. Kotaku's Mike Fahey gives another perspective. Xbox Series X, the most box-like Xbox... That Microsoft has ever produced. It's a cuboid. 12 inches tall, 6 inches deep, 6 inches wide. What else does that sound like, Alex? All right angles and fine matte black plastic. I adore its simplicity. It's a box with a modest circular X logo button in the top or top right corner. <clears throat> Depending on whether you place it horizontally or vertically. Pressing the button causes the system to emit the same three-note beep as pressing the circular X logo button on an Xbox One. Some more over on End Gadgets. Oof, I'm going to butcher this name. Devendra Hardware. Xbox Series X is powered by a custom 8-core Zen 2 CPU running up to 3.8 gigahertz and a powerful new 12 teraflop RDNA 2 GPU. Impressive, but remember, it's pretty much the same hardware that's inside the PS5. The difference is that Microsoft consoles has a larger GPU to eke out a couple more T-flops of performance. Well, they both offer 16 gigs of fast GDDRG or sorry, 6 RAM, Microsoft offers faster bandwidth than the PS5 for 10 gigs of that memory. The remaining 6 gigs, meanwhile, run slower than Sony's console. The Series X also features a steady 1 terabyte NVMe SSD, which light years faster than the slow mechanical drives in the previous Xboxes. If you've moved from a laptop with a traditional hard drive to an SSD, it's pretty much the same leap. Series X is able to move large data files much faster. So it's a full 1 terabyte. Uh, I doubt that. Mm. I'd, I'm gonna say it's at it's. I'm gonna say it's at least. I'm gonna stop there. By the way, go ahead. I'm, I'm, I assume it's at least uh, eight to nine hundred. Do we don't we have notes? Hasn't people said this? On Xbox Series, and we're gonna do another live look up here. Xbox Series X hard drive space. Give me the deets bing that's right we use bing here not only are we shields for xbox we're also shields for bing uh where is the hard drive hard drive oh jesus alex this is i hate this they they're giving me like oh you can buy this thing and this is external no i'm asking the storage the storage jesus uh can you find it for me i'm 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 falling apart here i'm falling apart here i'm i'm falling to pieces i want to say it was seven hundred 
Someone okay. said this. Internal storage revealed. Let's see. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> why is it? Why is it so hard for me? Why is it so hard for me, Alex? I will say. God, I love the design of the Xbox Series X. Just it's it's minimalistic. I'm a fan of minimalism. Now the Series S does. Eight hundred two. So eight hundred eight hundred two. Impressive. Yep. Impressive. Yep. It's one hundred and thirty gigs more than the PS Five. Yeah, so a loss of one ninety eight uh, is uh, some people are saying quite a blow, but hey, it's more. It's. I'm about to say not, <laughs> not as big as a blow in the other way. Yep. Happy to hear, happy to hear, Alex. Mm. What are your thoughts? We haven't gotten hands on yet because uh, I, I, as I remember correctly, our Series X was lost in the mail. Of course, Microsoft would of course always send the achievers an Xbox, but of course it was lost in the mail. They, Clearly. They did, that, they did that thing where they did with Mass Effect 3. They, uh-huh. uh, they, they put it up in the air. <laughs> and it. We haven't found it yet. It's still curdling towards the, the atmosphere. I think it's now become a meteor, technically. But, uh, yep. <laughs> uh, but Alex, what are your thoughts? So, again, this is the eve of launch for these systems. Oh, I'm, I can't, I, dude, I can't wait. I'm immediately... Uh, like as soon as I literally I have baby duty that morning because mm-hmm. my wife is at work. Mm-hmm. I told my little brother I was like, "Hey, you're coming over. You're watching the kid, so I can go get my system." Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I'm get. I got off early that day, so I'm leaving at four with my see, ha- Xbox in tow. Five o'clock to grab mine. Mm. I'm not doing that. Yeah, no, that sucks. But yeah, I'm waiting till four, and then I and then I got a whole day with it, and I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited yeah, to know, um, to touch it, to you know, give it a sniff. Do you, sniff you, it. you know that burnt plastic smell? That's definitely not good for your lungs. Just get a big oh, whiff. Shit on a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. Uh, I do. <sighs> what do you think of this? Do you think the Series S is anyone looking at the Series X excited, or is that like a like if you like a side thing, is that the side chick or the main at, main course? The, the Series S. Yes. And honestly, I, I was I, I went through Twitter and I saw some people are actually getting the S rather than the X. I know a lot of people that are. There's a lot that just honestly want to save money. There's a lot that want oh, just a digital system and they want something that's compatible to or sorry compactal like something very small like that thing is incredibly yeah. small. It's shockingly small. I think it looks. Sure. I love how small it is. I don't know why, but yeah. but it's just like something like the idea that I could just pick it up and walk with it is amazing. The Series X, I gotta like make it a backpack and you know plan a day around moving it. The, the Series S, you just pick it up, toss it like a frisbee. <laughs> 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 but I'm excited. We don't have much to talk about. I will say uh, a lot of the reviews got hit because, to be frank there's not a huge launch library and that is something i do agree with mm-hmm. it's an awesome system that is clearly missing halo <laughs> like is clearly missing that one title yep. like when you get the ps5 what's that first thing spider-man soon as as soon as you say ps5 spider-man hits the mind xbox hey no it's not halo it's well, i guess i'll play assassin's creed and then you get back into it. it's like okay I'll finish out a couple other Destiny. Yeah, that's another one. Like, it's not, there's nothing tied to the experience. It's all third party yeah. things, nothing that makes you think launch Xbox. Like, when we look back at this launch, we're not going to be like, God, that was a good launch title. We're going to think those were good games that came out on an Xbox Series X. Now, which one do you think it's going to do better? Better in what way? That, I, that is such an open question. There's so many different ways these can do, quote unquote, better than each other like <sighs> who will sell more who will become more popular who will have the gravitas of the next gen who will have the most subscribers what, what, what do you mean have the more talk of that week do you think xbox hmm. uh, or do you think playstation if playstation anything, I, feel, I feel like playstation is gonna have more talk be and it's but it's not gonna be good stuff whoa okay I okay it's gonna be, i think a lot of people are gonna be upset about the storage uh, a lot of people are, I mean, like we saw the thing earlier, it says something about it, it doesn't support so 1440. Yeah, 1440. Yeah, so I'm like, a lot. I think a lot of people are going to be talking about it, but like, like mm, negatively. About it. Negatively. Yeah. Okay. I think it's going to be a mixed bag of 
I can't get online with X. I can't get Y. There's going to be a lot of server issues, I'm assuming. I will also say the I think PS5 will no doubt have a bigger launch. Like it will have more you got Spider-Man, Demon Souls. Those two games by themselves demand talk. That demands your attention, demands you pay attention and listen. People are going to be googling and YouTubing those for days and figuring out if they want to buy that. That's going to be the Christmas game, those two games. What I will say is I do agree that a lot of negative things will be brought up. My biggest negative, I think, is going to be how you transfer files. Because it, it, as far as I understand, it hasn't been clearly said. As far as I understand, I think you still have to have a PS4 hooked up to transfer your things to a PS5 via a data transfer, which you sounds mean, awful. Like, like your save data? I haven't had a clear answer on what it is. No, you save data, you can put it to the cloud. Is that, I can't, so that's what I thought so as first, but I haven't found that anywhere. Is there something that says that? Yeah, here, let me see. Please bring it, please, for the love of God. Because I've been worried about this, like, for, like, weeks. Because I read, was it, it was either IGN or The Verge. Because those are, like, my two main, like, mm-hmm. reading. Or it might have been Game Age Up is, but they don't really do articles like that. I want to say one of them said, when Sony came out and, and talked about how you're playing PS4 games, you have to do some sort of transfer to do X thing. And I was like, okay, is, is that how you get saves? Which makes no sense because they have saved data cloud. So I, so that confused me, and I haven't had a clear answer since then. I, I want to say that was two weeks ago when they made that PlayStation blog post about memory and some things people, like that. Some people are saying the thing you said, but there's, uh, there's, some pe- uh, there's other they say what I said. So, like... See, via backwards compatibility help page on the website, Sony has confirmed that you can transfer your digital games, PS4 games, as well as your saved data over to PS5. If you're a PlayStation Plus member, you can download. You can then download your game saves from the cloud, and you'll you'll be good to go. Good. So as long as you, as long as you have a PlayStation Plus. So my next question is, what is the tra- tra- data transfer to move your games? So here, simply log into your PS4 and PS5 with the same PlayStation account. Update your PS4 to the latest firmware. Ensure both consoles are connected to the same network. If you're planning to do the transfer over Wi-Fi, um, it says here how to transfer games from PS4 to PS5. I'm assuming it's just so you don't have to re-download it. Oh, is that to save your data? I think that's. I think that's. What I see. Is, is so you don't have to use uh, your data cap on or like, wait for it to download. I think it's just so it, you could just move it. But if you have an external hard drive, it's just all in there. I mean, I have all mine on there. Reading a little bit of about transfer data. This is dual shockers. Mm-hmm. The best, uh, sorry. In a new video posted to the PlayStation YouTube channel today, it was detailed how upcoming PS5 owners would be able to bring over their game data from the PS4 they might currently own. Depending on the data that you're looking to transfer, there are multiple ways to go about this. One of the most basic involves simply connecting both your PS4 and PS5 to the same Wi-Fi, Signing into the same PlayStation account on both, and then transfer said data via your wireless internet. Conversely, you can link both consoles with an Ethernet cable to make the move go faster. The best part of this manner is transferring your data is that the PS5 won't be on pause while it transpires. The moving your data will simply happen in the background. The video also means other ways. You're, if you're looking to play PS4 games on the console, simply own those physical discs. You can just pop them into a system and install them as you normally would on the ne- current gen model. Hard drives can also be attached on PS5, so you have an external drive that you can currently utilize on PS4. You can seemingly just put it into a PS5. Lastly, game saves were also touched on. The process of bringing your active saves over to PS5 is largely the same as what we see on PS4. Assuming you're a PS Plus, you'll freely be able to download any previous saves that you have on PS4 to your PS5 via the cloud. Conversely, you can also upload the save to a USB drive and then transfer them manually. Boom. Okay, so... Okay, so I'm not crazy. This has only been talked about today. So I thought I was an idiot. I'm not as much as an idiot as I thought. So it looks like it is. You're correct. Mm-hmm. You can do it the normal way. I guess to save data, you can tr- do the data transfer. I really don't understand why you do the data transfer though. That is yeah. to not download it, right? Is that is what? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's yeah. So you don't have to re-download your game. Okay. 
Got it. I that I was like, why would you data transfer at all? But I I see. I understand. I used to have caps all the time. I get it. That makes a lot more sense now. That makes a lot more sense. Something I almost forgot to bring up, Alex. I want to I want to bring it up. I don't want to miss this, just in case someone um, is still worried about this stuff. Okay. So we got a Ubisoft support article again, blowing up the PS5. If you remember correctly, the, they were originally the only person that talked about how the PS1, PS2, PS3 games won't work on PS5. Mm. They were the first ones to talk about that, and and they had to delete it because I guess PlayStation yelled at them. So that seems like that happened again. <laughs> so. The original statement from Ubisoft had a support page, and they had to detail that some of their games will not work on PS5. Those games include Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Assassin's Creed Chronicles India, Chronicles China, and Chronicles Russia, Star Trek Bridge Crew, Werewolves Within, Space Junkies, and Risk. Hmm. On that note, Alex, there was another quote I want to say a few hours after this is posted, quote, we have pulled the Ubisoft Connect article and forum post on backwards compatibility for the time being, as there may be inaccuracies involving the Ubisoft titles that will be playable on PS5, end quote. The publisher wrote in a statement emailed to Kotaku. Of course, that was scrapped from Kotaku, that quote. Okay, Uh, so this seems to have happened again. That Ubisoft blew up PlayStation again. Yeah. I, 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 Alex, how do we read into this very weird set of events? Uh, do they work or not? G- what do you mean inaccuracies? There's, there's no way they made this statement without knowing it wouldn't work. So, what happened? I bet they don't. But they weren't supposed to release that information, so they're probably they're like, no, 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 we we don't know yet. So now they're gonna they're gonna try their best to fix it. But then they're probably not. They're gonna be like, yeah, that was that we that those games don't work. <sighs> they don't want people to freak out and be like, oh, those games don't work. But why did I buy this game? And all that yeah, stuff. right, right. More and more issues coming arising. I I do think the list of non playable games on PS Five will grow. I don't think it will get huge. I don't think <laughs> I don't think it'll be huge though. I don't think there's going to be a, a, a huge swath of games that you're not going to be able to play. I think there'll be some games that you're like, yeah, you're not going to be able to play that. But it is crazy that one of the biggest publishers in the world, I would say, has games that aren't playable. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Moving... If it's go ahead. True, I'm surprised that Syndicate is not playable rather than Unity. So Unity is playable? Yeah, the broken one? Yeah, it's pretty weird. <laughs> yeah. The Syndicate, the good one, and Unity, the one that was completely broken at launch. That one works? That's, w- fuck, that's weird. Unity also was the super online one. So you'd think that, that would bring issues. But no, apparently not. Apparently not. All right. Now, moving on to... If it isn't clear enough, Mass Effect cast will reunite on N7 Day amid trilo- uh, trilogy remaster speculation. I'm not even going to read about this. There's a giant thing that's going to happen. There's an N7 thing. They're 100% going to bring up that there's a remaster coming. We've, I think, seen this thing leak four times now, not including this. So, like, we're getting a Mass Effect re- uh, remaster. I can't wait. I. We're going to play it on our new system. I cannot wait. Alex, I can't wait. What is dream scenario for you? Do you even have a dream scenario? Do you just want the games? I want I want all the games to be. I want to be able to get all the achievements again for the games. Yeah. But I, what I really want is them to fix the hell out of one. So you brought up what I was going to exactly bring up. They have to fix one. The inventory in one was a bit messy. Hopefully they add in some options to auto-delete uh, terrible inventory or lesser inventory after a while or something to fix the inventory because the inventory uh, was egregious. Mm-hmm. Second, they need to figure out why textures don't properly load. Now, oh I God. think on PC they loaded fine. I don't. I never found that out. But they need to figure out whatever thing was not loading correctly. Because I'm pretty sure on my One X, I still had pop-in and texture loading issues. So figure that out. Polish everyone up. 
make everyone look pretty good. It this is dream scenario for me, Alex. Mm. Make a little bit more customization options for your character. You guys got some free time, you know. Add in a couple more character customization things. Maybe make them look a little cooler. Polish them up. Make some sort of easy through line for people um, to help with like story stuff. Uh, maybe utilize some difficulty to make it really easy so people can really experience these games because they're fantastic mm. um, for accessibility issues and things like that. I would love. This is best case scenario. I would love like. Uh, I hopefully they keep in the achievements that were there, or at least something like those achievements. Yeah. Because I want a thousand it again. Even better, you keep all the achievements above a thousand, but they won't. I think they're getting a whole new achievement list. I assume if they get the same ones, that means we get more achievements. That means we get like twelve hundred for one. What was it like? Uh, well, all it was DLC like it was like 1600 for two and 1500 for three something like that it was all they're all over a thousand because of the dlc but yeah i know i know dlc of course will all be all be included but i can't i can't wait uh oh and uh, 4k I, of course i want 120 but 60 frames is fine yeah just give me 60 and I'll yeah be i'll be fine 4k 60 um I really hope they polish up the environments too because a lot of environments did not look great. Yeah. If they make the uh, like textures look a little bit better, the game will be stunning. Oh, for sure. It will be stunning. Yeah, that was always my issue with one. That one always kind of looked uh, It was rainy. old. It was old. Yeah. It was... I, I, I don't remember the story behind it, but... It was, you know, the first game of the, the of its uh, title, so you know it didn't have that much uh, money put into it. It was it was the first IP, but uh, Xbox did pay for exclusivity deal, so they you know they got a little money there. I I I would love to know why there were so many issues on 360 with texture pop in. If that was just like a tech thing or something, uh, but I'm excited. I want to play one again. I want to play two again. I want to play three again. I want to do a whole playthrough. I want to get my achievements. I want to get the extra powers you get for getting everyone's friendship level to, like, you know, max. God, I can't wait. I'm such a nerd for this game. Now, question. Do you think it's going to be a timed exclusive or exclusive at all to Xbox? No. No. I, I think EA's done with stuff like that. Okay. Because um, I can't. What, when's the last time EA's done a timed anything? And also, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> now, I do like it because it's Xbox, of course, but yeah. I, I'd rather have that garbage done with, to be honest with you. But, I, yeah, I can't think of last, last one. They didn't do anything with Squadrons. They didn't do anything with Star uh, Battle. It had to been Battlefront because they had uh, PS4 deals Battlefront. Mm-hmm. I want to say that's the last thing. But, yeah, but I can't wait. I'll gladly play $100 for this, <laughs> but it, hopefully it's 60 <laughs> Moving on. I'll quit gushing about Mass Effect for a second. It's probably, it's probably going to be 70 because it's a... I mean, you could probably get, like, a Series X or upgrade or something. And the 60 for, like, a regular Xbox One. Would like, you be fine with that? Yeah. I would, too. I'm a... <laughs> I would... <laughs> I would I, I, I'm not joking. I would pay $100 for this game. Look, I am not against $70 for video games. People don't realize that they used to be $70 to $90 for NES cartridges. Oh yeah, yeah, back in the day, like, and that yeah, and that's like know, relative to our money. That's like a hundred dollars, by the way. Yeah, for sure. And so like seventy bucks is, I mean, it's fine. People keep complaining. It's like, oh, that's too much. And I'm like, relax. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just do a, just do a tiny, and I don't mean this in a condescending way, achievers. You know that. I love you. And do a little bit of research on how currency works and how inflation works, and then and you will know why it's going up. And that's a lot from coming from me because I'm cheap. <laughs> Bethesda's engine is getting its largest ever upgrade before Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6. Alex, do you think this has anything to do with the giant sum of money they may be getting? (laughs) I I, I joke, of course, this had to have been way before then. But there's not too much here. I don't want to talk about too much because it's very engine heavy talk. There's not much here other than they're just saying, yeah, we're doing a lot of work on our engine. I wanted to say... This is a clear response to the Fallout 4 um, issues, I would say. Mm-hmm. 
uh i i liked fallout 4 but the when you when that game came out after witcher 3 and you compare those two it is night and day like it becomes unexcusable yeah and also they never gave a good reason why shooting still sucked because <laughs> fallout 3 shooting it made sense because they they didn't make the shooting good so they made that but they just never made the shooting better which is weird um quick thing because you mentioned witcher 3 did you see that they uh witcher 3 on next gen the load times are almost instant for fast travels oh that's alex are you trying to get me naked because that's how you so get me naked. I, I was scrolling through instagram or and then i saw some like a post and it said witcher 3's fast travel load times are are about almost instant yeah and they're also doing a free upgrade i believe which yeah. i mean come free on upgrade, meaning like okay the things upgrades is it like it's just the same game we have already is just you know upgraded or is it a whole new like like achievement list hmm. this is a golden question we will that's technically an, like another game which i don't know that we're in a whole new world alex and my wet <laughs> sorry i'm getting i don't mean to get gross <laughs> but <laughs> i my wet dream fantasy alex yes <laughs> every new release upgrade thing refreshes that achievement list what a perfect way to get people to either rebuy your game or pay for the upgrade or whatever is to re interment the achievement list i will love for that to happen do i think it's gonna happen no would i love for that to happen you bet your you bet your ass i do but we will only know that specific information i say on a case-by-case -case basis because i do think that's a developer choice either they make the new achievement list or they refresh the thing or not i don't think xbox would say no so we'll have to wait and see that's about it about the bethesda engine thing by the way i just want to say they're basically making a new engine for starfield and elder scrolls 6 i cannot wait cannot wait to see what it's called and i cannot wait to see whatever the hell they're doing with current whatever what's it gonna launch on blah 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 mm. before we get into the thing i added for the ea stuff a little bit of sad news but not too surprising i'd say we all remember of course friday the 13th game jason Voorhees. you were able to either play as jason and or the counselors the game is a predator versus prey like game style where jason you can either play as jason or counselors if you play as jason Voorhees, you do have to hunt the counselors if i remember correctly there were five in a match or six i want to say no six it was six in a match six, yeah. yeah six in a match jason wins if all counselors are killed <laughs> counselors win your counselor wins if you get away it was fun very fun i love the game uh, some sad news coming from them. Dedicated servers for Friday the 13th. This is, of course, coming from their official uh, website. Will be decommissioned in an upcoming patch at the rollout this month, November 2020. What this means is the game will revert back to peer-to-peer -peer matchmaking for quick pay lobbies. The database servers, however, will stay active and continue to house all player progression unlocks so users can continue to play Friday the 13th, the game, via peer-to-peer -peer quick play and private matches. If you want more details, there is a a longer list of what what's going on on their website that is essentially the important info that you need to gather from that though yeah at least it's still playable not like evolve where they completely shut it down yeah i would agree i agree with that uh as far as i know if i remember correctly there was that uh lawsuit with jason Voorhees. Mm -hmm. i don't remember what happened <laughs> i said i said lost law, lawsuit like jason Voorhees was getting sued the, the friday the 13th was being sued i believe by um i think a movie friend movie thing i don't i it's so faint on my head but they got sued for that reason the developers had to stop updating the games or sorry they had to stop uh releasing content and they couldn't update the game or get money off of it mm -hmm. so they had the only way they could was to fix bugs and at first you think well that's not a big a deal they just wait till the thing's over that basically means they get no revenue for the for the entire time so they had basically had to put that on the side burner they made predator uh, hunting grounds switch to that and are now as we see setting that friday the 13th sad to see it go how's that doing by the way predator uh as good as friday the 13th was it like yeah i would say had a big launch and then you know putters out to yeah. 
I you know, a dedicated game that I been able to go back. It's fun. I, I would I would love to go back every now and then, but it's one of those things like, you know, I'm busy already. Do I really want to go back to Predator? I do eventually. Reminds me of Mortal Kombat. Like, Mortal Kombat, I need to get back to, too, because they released a new character. They released Rambo. You could be Rambo now, which is dope. That's so cool. Like, being Rambo? Are you kidding me? Yeah, right. you kidding me, Alex? All right. Moving on to some EA news. Wanted to bring up some things. They kind of talked about some things uh, that are going to be happening next gen, so I want to bring up some stuff. This is via The Verge. This was kind of last minute. This came up today, and I wanted to... Uh, I'm going to read straight from Sam Byford's uh, incredible article here. Uh, if you want to give him a click, please do. Electronic Arts has confirmed details on some of its popular title coming up. This includes FIFA 21, Sims 4, and Apex Legends will all get varying degrees of performance boosts when running on new hardware, either through free upgrades or just backwards compatibility. Starting with Squadrons. We'll be getting the most comprehensive makeover for the new Xbox consoles. There will be a mode that prioritizes visual quality, including better lighting, higher resolutions, coming in a dynamic 4K at 60 frames on Series X, and a dynamic 1440p at 60 frames on the Series S. Another performance focus mode drops the new lighting mode, but runs at 120 frames at the same dynamic resolution on both Xbox machines. There are also an option for variable refresh rate if you have a compatible TV. PS5 update uh, will run the game on the same dynamic resolution frame rate as the PS4 Pro, which is to say somewhere between 1440 and 4K at 60 frames with improved lighting. Um, and they did not mention if it's getting a 120 mode for PS5, which means no. Apex Legends will get a more formal enhancements next year. EA says, quote, more formal enhancements, end quote, to respond to Battle Royale. Apex Legends are coming at some point next year. In the meantime, the company says you can, quote, expect a performance boost up to 1440p, end quote. Although the game already ran at 1440p on Xbox One X and PS4 Pro, in practice, it probably just means it will drop down to 1080p-ish, much less often on next-gen machines. The company's current EA Sports titles, NFL 21, FIFA 21, NHL 21, and UFC 4, are all being handled in the same way. Series X will run them like a 1X. Series S will run them like a 1S. The PS5 will run them like a PS4 Pro, all with faster loading times. December 4th, however, anyone who owns these games will be able to upgrade to the separate next-gen versions for free. And you can read a little bit about them uh, on their websites. Uh, Sim 4 and all of its expansion packs will be playable on next-gen consoles, and EA says it will run with smoother frame rates and faster load times. It's not unclear, however, whether it's just a function of the game running on better hardware or in backwards compatibility mode. Finally, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered isn't getting much. EA promised basic backwards compatibility, like the EA Sports titles, Series X play on 1X, Series S, blah, 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 just like before. They all run basically the same. 1080, 30 frames, Series S, 4K, 30 frames, or 1080p, 60 frames, PS5, Series X. Woo! Quite a mouthful. Yeah. Another bit of the questions of these games are getting upgraded, these games aren't. What's getting free? What's getting free enhancements? Blah, blah, blah. Cool on EA for basically giving you free upgrades on just about everything. It seems like everything's getting free upgrades, so that's cool. I will say Apex, I am very excited to get hopefully 120 at uh, 1080, because I don't care if it's in 4K. I just want it 120. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and, I think it's, I think uh, like for sh big shooters, uh -huh. 120 is good, and like for like open world games, 60 is just fine. Oh, of course. I mean, that, that is I share that 100, percent 100, percent yeah. Crank up that frames on a shooter. A anything else though, I don't really care about frames. I want to I want to see pretty stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to yeah, see pretty sure. stuff. Alex, mm. that's the news for the week. We don't really have much in the way of date updates. Um, if we want to, we could just keep complaining about Cyberpunk, but I feel like that's been beaten to the ground. So we won't do that. Um, so we're going to move on, Alex, to what's cued. This could be, of course, anything. Video game, TV show, movie, comic, book, and or music. Whatever you got queued up for the weekend, let the Achievers know so they can talk about it with you. Over on Twitter, at EVM, and it has an at Cravey Subscater. And, of course, you can DM us on Patreon.com slash Achievers. Alex, what's queued up for the weekend? 
I'm debating because I'm going through between shows and games. Mm. I, I just recently finished my rewatch binge of Dexter. I finished that in a week. Boom, 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 And man, I boom, just, boom. And, Cause I, I saw the, that they were doing the revival thing for like, you know, the, the 10 episode episode things coming out. So I wanted to watch it. Now I'm working on lost. Um, but I'm also playing Watch Dogs and I four, have... eight, fifteen, oh. sixteen, twenty-three, forty-two. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? What are you counting? You're like, what are you? What? <laughs> Alex gets under his desk. What are you counting? <laughs> Is it a bomb? <laughs> it's counting in intervals. God, I remember. I Alex. Hmm. I remember me and my dad like what do you think they mean and 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 we just every time the show is like like do you think they're like quantities like what like we and we got we had so much conversations on what the numbers meant i dude at one point i thought they were launch codes oh okay there was like a nuke or something under the island yeah, i could see yeah, that I thought there was some type of like nuclear thing like uh, you know if you put these codes in you uh, like if something happened on the island like it, it just it's a self-destruct thing for Gosh, the island. fuck do you remember find the episode where you where they find the bunker? The bunker? Oh man! Oh my god, dude! That that's like some of the best TV I've ever Apple watched. Desmond? Yes, man, Desmond. Uh, when they? Oh my god! They like go back, man. To, when like uh, props to the screenwriters, props to the directing. Th- when they show the bunker and then they show how they get it open. Then Hugo sees the numbers on the bunker and he's like, no, don't, don't. And they're like, and they blow it up. And then it ends on them staring at the bunker and the camera pans. To, oh, my God. And then the next episode, they find Desmond. And it's all about what happened in him. And then he's been spending like, like the last. Still fresh on your mind, ain't it? Oh, Alex, I've. <laughs> you. <laughs> I, I've watched a, a comical amount of Lost, dude. <laughs> comical. This one of the shows. I can tell you so much about for absolutely no reason. I remember a lot of things about the show. Uh-huh. As I'm watching it, it's like I did Dexter. I knew I remembered everything with Dexter, but when I was watching it, I don't remember, couldn't remember what was happening. So I felt like when something happened, I was like, "Oh no!" Like I forgot. I was like, "Oh yeah, that did happen." But like I'm exciting myself because I forgot. I forgot. Uh, Alex, let me tell you some content. Let me tell you some content. Me, you, Lost season one recap review like t- give the achievers the content they've been demanding <laughs> us watching lost and gossiping about it <laughs> the lost okay. the lost we're like yeah that's that's the way i describe myself lost but um but dude i love lost the others the wisp oh my god the smoke monster oh my god finding out what all that means and how ridiculous some of those go- <laughs> sounds like a train hitting it uh the the bunker was probably some of my favorite pieces of content in a tv show is figuring that out then the then we figure out the others then you figure out dharma initiative oh my god now, now quick five, five seconds who's your favorite character five, sawyer one uh, like uh, he, he's been my favorite since mm-hmm. episode one mm-hmm. he comes out with that open open uh shirt mm-hmm. s- just reading that book reading that paper over and over again with that cigarette in his mouth bartering with everyone that 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 twinge of bad guy in him but he's also a good guy that's trying oh him lo- banging kate hashtag sawyer kate forever all right None of this Jack and Kate garbage. Get it out of my face. Sawyer and Kate for life. So you didn't. So you didn't like Sawyer and Juliet. It, when he has, when Kate's not there, it's fine. Okay. As soon as Kate shows up, peace out. Sorry, Juliet. She's here. My bad. Like, uh, my favorite is uh, John Locke. I respect that. I respect that. I I, <laughs> I, would always, I would go to Jack just because he's the main guy, and but I'm like, you know what? I, I like Locke. Locke is cool. Do, do you like how he ends his story? Not including, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Not including, yeah. not including that. But okay. before that happens, do you like all that stuff? Um, yeah. Because let me tell you, you want you want to hear my second favorite. 
the dude who comes in a wheelchair, Alex, oh. and walks on the. Oh my god. Yeah, that's true. Oh my god, Alex. Oh no. As we go back to our question, queued up. I'm watchdogs until. Were we talking about anything else other than Lost now? Yeah, Alex, you can't get me spurred up and just make me stop. No, please go ahead. What else? What else is queued up? We'll be here for literal hours. Go ahead. Uh, the new season of Apex, man. Of course, season seven. Um, I am. I started it up. Super excited. All right, all right. Let's get this battle pass started. We play a bunch of matches. I get my teeth mashed into my face <laughs> just without any regard for my mental health people bashing me just bashing me over the head no remorse people fighting me as if there's tournament money on the line Look, dude, our first game back and we won though we I did mean, I, missed, I missed my baby r99 yes r99 is broken as ever welcome yeah. back Welcome back <laughs> to my least favorite part of Apex Legends, the R99. Everybody running that thing, man. You love dying in three seconds? Welcome back. <laughs> I guess I always, when I had that thing, man, I always ran two lights, R301 with R99. Hey, that's a good, that's a strong combo. Some mm -hmm. say broken, others say broken. Anyways, <laughs> they, sure. now I will say I'm, I did get upset of how slow I was progressing. Yes, they. Uh, I was leveling up in like twenty hours. <laughs> like it, it felt way too slow. Well, they did say something about that. Yeah, they did. I, I I saw it on Twitter. They released that they apologized that they feel like they did miss the mark what they were trying to do. So they explained mm -hmm. that the reasoning that it felt like it was maybe a little longer is to try and keep the interest throughout the season. Mm -hmm. They did reiterate that they admitted they missed it and maybe it's too long. So what they're going to do now going forward is every weekly challenge is basically cut in length, probably to two thirds. They said they're making the weekly challenges um, not as time consuming and the XP to level up is cut in half. God, I hope so. Very happy. They I, And kudos. I don't want to be mean here, not to EA, <laughs> but to <laughs> Apex Legends, to Respawn. That is a quick, I, dare I say, Bungie-like acknowledgement. Like, and really more Fortnite, honestly. But but I, I, I think that's more Fortnite. Actually. Bungie, Bungie will acknowledge a mistake and fix it two months later. <laughs> but but I, that is a very Fortnite thing that immediately they're talking to the community like immediately like, hey, we messed up. Sorry. We realized that's way too much time. Blah, blah, blah. Here's a fix. Like... That's what I love Epic Games for for Fortnite. And that is why I also love Respawn. What I got Wait. queued up, Alex? Thank you for asking. <laughs> I, hey, th me to the <laughs> I think um, I think more Vikings. Yes. Speaking of that, I may watch some after this because it is a little late in our time zone. Mm -hmm. So I, I may watch an episode. Go to go, go, go lay my uh, pretty little face on a pillow. Go to bed. I uh, want to say I'm almost done with the last season. I was on episode you mean, you eight. Mean season one. Uh, sorry, yes, season one. I apologize. Um, I want to say I was on episode eight, and I watched an episode, so I assume I'm on episode nine now. Um, I think this there's, I think there's ten. Spoilers for episode nine of Vikings. This dude got pushed in a pit of fucking snakes. That was fucked. That was sorry for the language. That was fucked up. Yeah, he just slowly. That, that is a terrifying way to die. Is just sitting there while snakes slowly bite you to death. Mm -hmm. Jesus, this game is. This game, or sorry, this TV show is super messed up, and I am here for it. Hey, hey it get, dude, it only gets better. Hashtag worse. All right, all right, I'm excited. And on that note. As I describe this podcast, it only gets better. Hashtag it gets worse. We thank you for joining us for this Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast coming to you every single Friday. If you like us, remember, like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. Click that little notification bell on YouTube. That helps us a lot. And literally doing anything will help us. Anything. We appreciate everything you do. We appreciate you for simply listening to our lowly show thank you so much if you want us sorry if you want to help us even more than that then you can of course head over to patreon.com slash give us a dollar whatever you can afford remember 
It's a pandemic happening. Don't go too crazy, but give us what you can afford. Help us keep the mics on, the lights on, and of course, Alex's dog fed. Thank you guys so much for listening. Remember, patreon.com slash YouTubers, DM us, question, comments, control, that's all the nanorodies. Go Chief. <laughs>